Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Good evening, and welcome to the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Um, I met a guy at a uh, uh, event that I was speaking at a couple of years ago. Um, he was the speaker, and I was the speaker. He was extremely impressive. Lots of really good ideas uh, on business, and he's just written a book. And I want to ask him about the book. Uh, Amit Ambegonkar is a business consultant and an author, and he's here with his book, and he's going to tell us all about it. And the book, Amit. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, so much for having me. My pleasure. And the book is Your... Your Profound Success, Seven Powerful Ways to Skyrocket Your Business Using the Internet. Which is perfect for yes. this era of COVID-19. So how are we going to skyrocket our business using the internet? Yes, that's really, really an amazing question. So first of all, the thing is, uh, it is very important for people to understand, especially if people are entrepreneurs and self-employed, that uh, their presence in business in terms of having an online presence is very, very important. Uh, but also having a business strategy in place, having coming in with the proper mindset is very important to be successful in business. So what I, what I gathered from my coaching and teaching that I was doing for entrepreneurs, I gathered that you know people get into business because they're really good at something. Yep. But eventually taking it to the business, it's a whole different ballgame. Like you being amazing at your particular industry or your niche is, is a very good start. But if you want to be successful as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, then there are many moving parts that need to be addressed. And that's why I came up with and this And it's different, idea. dramatically different on the internet than it is in regular business life? Uh, it is different because the approach is different. The way that you build uh, relationships with people and your clients, your For business sure. no partners question. is different. So it's, it's interesting. So what are your seven uh, suggested uh, rocket ship ways? Yes, so I'll, I'll tell you a few about uh, what is really, really important. Okay. Uh, one of the main things that, that I emphasize is knowing your client really, really well. Okay. And uh, the whole emphasis on that particular aspect is clients' needs are always changing. What they want and need is always changing. And if you are a business that is providing that service, you need to know your client so well so that you understand their needs and, and wants at every single stage that they are in. Okay, so knowing your client's needs has always been an issue. How is it different uh, in the Internet? Uh, well, on Internet, it's different because you have to look at not uh, you know, what you are providing as a product. Is it significantly uh, catered to online? Right? So if you're a business, say you're a brick and mortar business, right? now you certainly have to go online because of you know, the, the trend in internet marketing. Now, how are you going to transition that brick and mortar business to going online right. and still giving that same level of service, building that same relationship with the client? So it takes the whole business to a different level. Your thought process needs to be different. The way you approach clients needs to be different. And that's what makes it really unique. So I found that um, you know having one face-to-face -face real life interaction uh, and then amplifying it with uh, ongoing interaction, whether it's online or uh, via Zoom or, uh, or FaceTime or even emails is okay. But if you don't have that one face-to-face in-person interaction, um, it's really challenging to create that strong um, relationship and connection. Do you agree or That disagree? is 100% true. I do agree to that. Uh, and in, even in this day and age, like even if online businesses are booming at different uh, levels, you will see that it cannot really replace a face-to-face, -face, right? There's still the, the, the relationship that can be built, the connection that uh, you will have with people is way more if you're meeting that person one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Um, but that trend I've been seeing changing. Like there are a lot of meetings that are happening, a lot of interactions that are happening on, on websites and Zoom where people do feel that, that sense of connection and it's growing. Uh, for people like you know us who've been meeting people and attending events and you know that shake hand that those hugs are yeah. really important uh, for them it's really more difficult to adapt but if you look at the the newer generation the networking events that are happening i see a lot of trend going towards more online rather than uh, you know having that so it's interesting because uh, one of the negatives that's been pointed out of that is that um, we're almost too business oriented when we're online. So, you know, when you go into a, a face to face meeting, you have the little chit chat yes. um, at the beginning of the meeting and the chit chat at the end. You get to know the person as a real person, whether yeah. they went golfing, how are their kids, blah, blah, blah. 
when uh, you have Zoom meetings, it's like right to business. You don't yes. have that water cooler, coffee cooler, uh, uh, coffee pot kind of uh, conversation. Is that a negative? And 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 have you got have you got any ideas on how you actually fix that? Problem? Yeah, actually, that's a very good point, Brian. And I see I see that a lot of entrepreneurs uh, going through that specific mistake. Like it's all about business, business, business. Yeah. But that relationship cannot be established until your client knows you as a person. Yeah. So if you are out there on social media, if you're doing any online events, it's really important that you project yourself as to who you are first. Like, you know, we talk about, you know, having your family, you know, what do you like to do in your spare time? What do you do on a weekend? That conversation really brings people to you and makes that connection between you and the client. And as a part of, you know, what you do, you can, of course, give value uh, to your clients about your business. Right. But telling them about what you do as a person is really, really important. So I used to work for Jimmy Patterson, uh, seven billion billionaire. And uh, he used to say, people, Brian, always buy from people. And so you got to make sure yes. that you create that connection with that people. That is so true. So, okay, so, so know your customer is one. Give me another one. So one of the other things that, that I talk about is uh, knowing you, what you're exactly offering, mm -hmm. like exactly what your offer is. And it goes in several stages. So you, know, you can start off with something that, uh, that the client uh, is really looking for at, a, at a, just a startup level, people that, know, that don't know you. Right, so we're talking about sort of the cold market. They're first getting in contact with you. They really don't understand your product and your services, but they just want to try it out. Right, so having that uh, the product where they can just try out what your product is about and see if they like it, if it's appropriate for them, if they can build that connection with you. And once you have that wrapper with them, then your offer can start to increase where you offer something you know, for a smaller price. And now you'll see that they are interested or they may still not be interested at that point of time. But creation of that offer, the most important thing that I emphasize in my, in my coaching and my consulting is looking at offering more value than price. Mm -hmm. And that's a really important aspect for, for entrepreneurs to understand because people actually will buy products based on the value that it offers. It's the price is actually secondary. And if, if people are getting stuck about, oh my God, is my product expensive or is my product cheap? The way to look at it is what's the value that it offers. So if you have a $100 product, but it is offering value to that particular receiver of say $300 or $500, it's actually a cheap product. It's yeah. a very economical product. But if your value in the product itself is not that great, then nobody's going to buy it. Right, like, so how do you establish value? So value, that's a very interesting question because value is what's perceived by the class client. Yep. It's by the client, it's customer driven, it's not driven by you, right? So generally it is, it is established why you can ask the customer like for feedback, but also you can look at the number of sales that are being generated in your business. So if you're not having that successful business, if a particular product or service is not selling enough or you're not getting quite good testimonials or wins that you're creating from the sale of your products, then probably it's an indicator that people are, are either not buying it because they don't see value, or the other reason could be that you're not able to present it to the customer so that it is <coughs> seen valuable as the client. Because it's really looking at the product from their viewpoint, yeah. right? Me as, a, as an offerer of that product, for me it might be seeming but amazing. My, my concern about uh, business on the internet is that it's so easy to compare price, and it almost seems like price becomes a far more important uh, predictor of whether you're actually going to get the sale or not. Yes. Uh, you know, like uh, there's these new car companies that uh, are selling completely online mm -hmm. and it's all about uh, price. It's not about yeah. the service. It's not about the salesmanship. It's not about the connection with that dealer that you had. It's the things that people would have, you know, had value in the past. It's all about price and they, yeah. they bring the car right to your door and if you test drive and you don't like it, they'll take it away again. Yeah. That's true and that's where the other part comes in, which is result based. Right, like what is the results? Like for example, coaching industry is such vast and you see you know, coaches popping in every now and then and you open up internet, there are coaches all over. And that's why one of the things that I emphasize is looking for results rather than the price or, and the value. Right, so are the, are the coaches, so what, is the, what is the result that the person is going to achieve by signing up for a program? Yep. Right, so for example, I have a six week program that I offer, but I offer guaranteed results. Right, so the result that you're going to create from this particular program is this, and I give a guarantee. Right, so there are coaches that you know sort of offer a product, but if they don't have a specific guarantee, then they should have some thing that they will achieve at the end of that particular product or service. Right, and that now makes you stand out from the crowd. 
right? Because now the customer is buying exactly, okay, that's the result that's being created. Do I really want that result? Yes, I want it. All right, I'm going to go for it, right? So that gives an indicator to the client who's actually looking for your product or the service. Now they have that predetermined success cause that they're signing up for. We're chatting with uh, Amrit. Amit Ambegankar. Ambegankar. Yes. <laughs> um, who is a business consultant and a coach, and he's written a book. Put the, the book up for the camera so you can see yeah. it. Your Profound Success, Seven Ways to Skyrocket Your Business Using the Internet. Uh, we're going to take a break and come back more with Amit in just a minute, um, who's a very smart uh, business consultant, and it's a pretty compelling book. Stay with us. If you are looking for a dedicated and honest real estate agent, then meet Wasif Khan, servicing the community for years in resale and pre-construction projects. Sell your property in top dollars with TV, radio, social media, and MLS marketing. We also help with mortgages. For all your real estate needs, contact me at 647-786-8765 or visit wasifkhan.ca. Team Farhan Mortgage Solutions आपकी खिदमत में पेश पेश 15 साल तजरबे के हामिल आपकी जरूरियत और मर्जी के एन मुताबिक कारोबारी रिहायशी तामिराती और जरई मॉर्गेज सर्विसेज हमारा कम तरीन मॉर्गेज रेट टीम फरहान At Team Farhan we're here for all your mortgage needs Müşterilerimize iyi ve kaliteli hizmet vermeye özen gösteriyoruz. Bu ofer kulil tesilat ve kuruz el maliye li kul enwa' el kuruz. Here at Team Farhan we have mortgage solutions designed for you. Team Farhan ko ek defa hizmet ka zaroor mauka dijega and this is my personal promise to you you will not be disappointed. At Team Farhan we have a mortgage solution designed for you. Mazid malumat ke liye 416-569-9294 ya phir visit ki jiye hamari website www.teamfarhan.com Air Wings Travel and Tours North America ki sabse baitamad aur fastest air travel services 25 saal ka tajarba liye la tadad affordable travel deals ke saath excellence in customer services on just one phone call ye hai Air Wings Travel and Tours for booking call now 1-855-247-9464 or 905-272-2300 Air Wings Travel and Tours Consumer Choice Award recipients and GTA's top-ranked service provider, Dixie Electronics, authorized dealer of all major companies. Shop with a peace of mind and low prices are always guaranteed. I promise best customer service and lowest prices in GTA because we beat prices from all major stores and small stores. At Dixie Electronics, our motto is we sell quality and deliver confidence. Dixie Electronics and Appliances, 5120 Dixie Road, Unit 11, Mississauga. Phone number 905-625-5900. Are you looking for a different type of realtor? Meet Suhail Khan, broker owner of Century 21 Innovative Realty, Inc. You don't need to know a lot about real estate, but you do need to know Suhail Khan, who knows a whole lot about real estate. He knows contracts, negotiations, research, he knows the market, and he really knows the area. When it comes to real estate buying or selling, Suhail Khan is a know-it-all. Get to know Suhail Khan, 416-822-0305 or at SuhailKhan.ca. Experience excellence. Life is precious and health is the greatest gift. The best investment you can ever make is in your own health and life. Take steps now for your health and life concerns, which includes drug and dental insurance, travel insurance, critical illness, disability income insurance, and super visa insurance. We also provide life insurance, RESP, RRSP, and segregated funds. To make the informed decision, contact Babar Chuktai, your health benefit advisor at 416-816-9210. It's 416-816-9210. Was your family or business prepared for this financial crisis? Want to learn how I prepare my clients with the essential financial planning pyramid? For any financial crisis come their way, hello this is Zahir Sayyid from Roj Financial. 
For your complimentary Zoom or Skype meeting, call my office at 905-624-0008 or visit arujfinancial.com. Buying or selling a residential or commercial property is one of the biggest financial decisions most people will make in their life. The real estate lawyers at Alum Law Chambers will guide you through the complete real estate laws to ensure your transaction completes on time and your dreams come true. Reliable and affordable Alum Law. If you are looking for a reliable, professional, and affordable travel agency in your town, then your search is over. Global Travel & Tours is your personal travel partner. Our dedicated staff at Mississauga, Jeddah, and Islamabad is always ready to make your trip hassle-free, memorable, and cost-effective. We will assist you with hotel reservations, the transportation, visa assistance, and travel insurance. We are the number one pilgrimage specialist for Hajj, Umrah, as well as Ziyarat to Iran and Iraq. Global Travel and Tours is a one-stop solution for your travel, immigration, and forex needs. We are IATA-approved agents and an authorized Umrah agent. To book your holiday or Umrah package, please give us a call right now at 1-877-275-3555. We look forward to hearing from you. Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Welcome back to the Brian Crabby Show on Canada One TV. We're chatting tonight with Emmett Abegonker, who is a business consultant and author. He's written a great book about uh, uh, your success uh, in business on the internet. Uh, we've talked about two. Um, uh, one was uh, Know Your Customer. The second one is Know Your Offering. Um, Why did you decide to become an author, Emmett? I decided to become an author because there are so many moving parts in a business. Uh, as an entrepreneur, when, when I started, I did not get the success that I wanted immediately. And it was because that the business had so many moving parts, I had to go through a whole process of learning each and every component in order to be successful in business. So that's where the idea came in for a book. I said, why don't I put down all these principles in a book so that you know, a startup entrepreneur or a person who's struggling or a sort of has leased the ceiling might just pick up a book and say, oh my God, I'm not applying these three. That's what I need to apply and, yeah. and you know, we'll get the success that they're looking for. Is this for. your first book? That is my first book. Well, That's congratulations. Right. And Thank if people you. are interested in it, how do they get it? Uh, they, it? It's available on my website, yourprofoundsolutions.com. Yourprofoundsolutions.com. That's correct. Okay. That's the name of my company, Your Profound Solutions. And you say you guarantee results. How do you guarantee results? A guarantee results, I mean that for every particular product or service, I give them an outcome that they will create. So if they buy a particular product or a service from me, it may be a coaching program, it might be webinar series that they buy, I tell them exactly what they will get out of that series. And if they, and if don't, they don't get it, it, if they don't get it, they get money back. Impressive. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. That's so we talked about uh, product offerings in the first, uh, in the first segment. Um, it's always been my belief that you have to have that unique selling proposition. Um, and, uh, and that too many people launch things that are me too's and, uh, and look, lookalikes or whatever. Um, and, uh, and they've, they've got no competitive, sustainable advantage they uh, they don't have anything unique it's just another you know another similar thing to something else down the street yeah. um, how do you think about unique selling propositions a unique product offering uh, and how you uh, find that success yeah that's a that's a really good avenue to to explore for entrepreneurs because your unique selling proposition needs to be catered exactly to who your audience is and if you're not speaking to that particular person, like I, when we design a target audience, I ask people to actually have a questionnaire where they have to actually fill in all of the 12 questions, what they see as their ideal client. And whenever they're doing a video, they might be doing a video on social media, they might be writing a blog, they might be writing something for their website. It's like I'm speaking to that particular person. Right. And when that happens and you have that clear intention that this is the product that I'm delivering and this is the amount of result that I'm going to create for them, then you have a winning formula right there. 
right? So you're not, your product should not be everything to everyone. You know, it, that does, just doesn't work. Yeah. But if you have that specific product, that specific client in mind, and that specific result, everything is well aligned, that's when I've seen, you know, people can have that unique selling proposition done for their business, and it will work like magic. So we, we've talked about uh, um, know your customers, we've talked about know your product. What are some of the other uh, suggestions you've got? One, one very important aspect is looking at the quality of your product. And this is, a, this is a separate section that a, uh, an entrepreneur should have in their business where the quality of the product delivered needs to be checked. Yep. And what I mean by that is every product that, that is coming out of your business that is being delivered to the customer, you need to make sure that it is meeting the needs of the client and it could involve by taking feedback to see whether that was what the client was looking for. It could involve getting the testimonials back from them so that they will have some, some social proof that their, that their business is actually doing what it's saying it's doing. Yeah. Which right? is actually easier with the internet. It uh, is you can so follow much up with a, uh, a survey, uh, you often capture the email address and other information about people, and you can get right back to them right away as to how things are going, what they think of the product, everything's working fine, exactly. and manage the, uh, the returns. And so yeah. I think that uh, you know, that um, post-purchase uh, information is even more prevalent and more available with the internet uh, and internet sales than it has been before yeah. where you'd have to you know call the person up and say how are things going yeah that's true that's true there are so many other avenues like google reviews and linkedin recommendations and all that also act as as a huge social proof yeah. uh, and entrepreneurs i see a lot of entrepreneurs not using those tools but those are the tools that should be used because that's where your potential clients are going to check you out yeah. before they call you, before they buy your product. The you social know, proof has also got a negative to it though, isn't it? Uh, you know, I've heard so many people talk about how people will threaten to put a bad review on looking for a price reduction so you don't put the bad review on. Right, right. Yes, that is definitely there. But I see the... Kind of, kind of crooked, like it's really crooked. It is, it is. I agree. It's just the amount of uh, people that you're helping. Right? So there might be people what you're talking about you know, might threaten you with that, but if the amount of people that you're helping and getting amazing results for is way more than you know, these few people that call you for negative reviews, then that's just a part of the game. It's interesting because um, you know, there was this big article that, uh, that uh, one of the business schools uh, went out uh, with that uh, we've lost the referees in society. Um, and so you, know, you used to have uh, reviewers, you used to have uh, people that would uh, assess whether the quality was good or whatnot. And now we're just counting on the masses to uh, do it through social media. It's almost as if uh, we no longer have respect for the experts in society. We only have respect for the masses. Mm -hmm. Is that good or bad? I think that's really, I mean, individual person's viewpoint. From my viewpoint, I look at uh, reviews totally differently because I want to understand, you know, if the, the specific review as to why it was given. So I just don't look at the rating, you know, one to five or one to 10. I'm looking at why did they rate it one? Why did they rate it five for that matter, right? right? It's not just the actual rating, but there are lots of comments that, uh, that people can go through and look at, okay, why did this guy rate one? Was it really the, the provider of the services, the problem, or maybe they had some totally different issue that was not uh, this provider related? Uh, that, that gives an insight about that. And also talking to the, the entrepreneur themselves or the business themselves that, you know what, I saw this review, like just be upfront. I saw this, you know, three reviews that said the same thing. Is that the same problem I'm going yeah. to have? Right. Now, you've been a business consultant for a while. Yes. Um, I've heard you speak a couple of times previously. Um, are you focusing in a different area with this new book or the same areas you've uh, focused in the past? Uh, no, actually, business coaching has been my area, and this is where I'm, I'm helping entrepreneurs build a, a successful business. And uh, online is what my, uh, what my business has been, but I'm finding that in addition to building online, having that clarity in, in the entrepreneur's mind as to what their overall strategy for business should be is what's really working well for entrepreneurs. So on one side, they need that online presence, but in addition to that, they need that overall strategy to make their business a winning combination. Why do entrepreneurs need coaches? Entrepreneurs need coaches because they are really good at what they like. For example, real estate agent, right? Let's take a simple example. They might be really good at real estate. They know the market so well. They know how well the market is fluctuating, what it's going to do in 10 years. But if they look at it as a business, there is lots of other components, like for example, sales and marketing that they need to do. Right? We talked about qualification. They need to talk about the delivery of the product. They need to generate leads. There are so many other avenues what has to be a part of a business success 
that they really don't want to put their attention. They want to just focus on helping the client at what they are amazing at. Right. They don't want to you know, go online and talk to the uh, person that is not interested. They really want the leads that are qualified. Right? That's where they are going to help the client the most. And that's where the, the whole strategy comes in or how to sort of get those roles assigned to someone else on your team. Or if you want just to focus on what you do good at, how do you actually make that happen in your business? Right. You know, I think that uh, positive attitude and confidence are so critically important in business and in life. Um, and every single time I've met you, I've been surprised at how positive you are and how confident you are. Wow. Where does Thank that you. come from? Uh, it comes from, uh, it basically starts from knowledge. It started from knowledge. When I started in business, I, I, I wanted to get that knowledge done. And now I'm moving to a point where I have the, the knowingness about business consulting. So when I'm talking to entrepreneurs and, and small the business knowingness. owners, the knowingness. What's, so, what's knowingness versus knowledge? <laughs> so knowledge is basically what I get through a book when I listen right? to an audio recording. Well, that's knowledge that I get. Knowingness is way above that. Knowingness is basically I don't have to rely on any of those sources. I've never heard this word before. Is this, yeah. uh, is this your word or uh, it's, a term that people use? It has been a term. It has been a term in the, the self-industry world. But okay. it basically takes... Uh, takes an entrepreneur or takes me to a whole different level where I'm not relying on other sources, whether they're good, they're bad. I just use my own knowingness and I say, okay, that's what it is. That's what the best solution for me is. And my whole uh, programs that, that like there's a special programs that I do where I take people from, from that knowledge because knowledge is unending. Right? People attend seminars, people go to so many events and they try to learn, 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 which is a good gradient, which is a very good gradient to get that education, get that knowledge. But eventually there comes a tipping point where you say, okay, I got it. Right. I know this, right? It's, it's like driving, right? When, when people start driving, they're apprehensive and they're gaining knowledge or this is the sign, this is the signal. But at one point they reach, oh, boom, I got it. So they're not thinking about it anymore. They're not thinking, oh, do I change the gear or do I apply the brakes? No, they just, no. Well, that's fascinating. So, you know, there used to be this uh, terminology that people would talk about, about the, uh, um, sort of like the equivalent of Maslow's theory of, yes. uh, of needs, but it would start with uh, data, and then uh, data would become information, and then information would become knowledge, and then knowledge would become wisdom. And I guess I was thinking that wisdom was uh, that top of that ladder. You're now saying it's uh, knowingness. Yes. Yes, I look at knowingness as uh, not looking for any confirmation. Not looking for any confirmation. I, knowingness, I, I just know. And there doesn't have to be a reason behind it. Right. There is no reason behind it. I just know. It's like you know your name. right? If somebody ch challenges you, your name is not Brian, you're going to say, what are you talking about? Right. right. And once you develop that amount of that level of expertise in your business that you have that knowingness, you will have no problem in selling. Like Entrepreneurs, if they can develop that amount of knowingness, how valuable their product is, how amazing their own business is, they will have actually no problem in selling. Well, Emmett, thank you so much for uh, coming today. Again, if people want to get your books or access your consulting, what's the website? YourProfoundSolutions.com And let's show us the book one more time. Yes. <laughs> YourProfoundSolutions.com Emmett Abed... Ambe Gonker. Ambe Gonker. Thanks yes. so much for joining us. Well, that's our show for tonight. Um, and, uh, you know, Ambe, uh, Amit is, uh, is uh, a very smart, confident, um, articulate guy. If you need some business coaching, reach out to him. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good night.